All right, well, how's everybody doing? Just back here today shooting some more 8mm Mauser. I've got a different rifle today. This is a Yugoslavian. It's a Yugo uh, 2447, which is basically the older uh, style uh, 24. Uh, M24 Yugoslavian and then they just kind of updated these a little bit in 47 Put new stocks and different things on them and uh, This thing is uh, it's it's butter smooth. So, you know, and the rifling is basically like brand new um, I had to have actually had to have this uh, rifle uh, the chamber finish uh, Finished board on the chamber because it was short chambered But I'm out here shooting today. These are 139 green uh, soft points from uh, PPU using the IMR 4064. I'm gonna do some chrono work on them and then uh, groups and I don't know, see how they shoot. So let's get started. All right, well, hopefully y'all saw the shooting as I did it, and I didn't mess anything up. Um, but there's the first uh, load I was uh, trying out. It's 49 grains, average 25.41. And I, I had one that was like way, way low on that one, so I don't know, but it kind of messed my numbers up. But it still shot okay. The rifle overall was shooting, um, you know, high. So, I mean, I was like aiming here or here, and then I was shooting way up here. And the same thing, you know, down here, I was shooting way up here. Um, but the second group, uh, I don't know where these three shots were, but like I stacked three shots right on each other there. Uh, they may have been different sequence, I, I don't really know. Then I had these two, but even still overall, that's like a 1.8 inch uh, group. Uh, average velocity 2647 SD 15 ES 42 so and that's not really the max load I mean I could go you know a little bit higher if I wanted to um, but I don't really see any reason to you know stress things out but here's the bullet I was shooting it's a PPU it's a 139 grain bullet and uh, let's see here let's weigh this sucker Let's get you in camera there. So what does that say? 139.4, something like that. Then this is the bullet I got out of the water jugs. And it's like 99, so it lost like 40 grains worth of weight. And I heard a little bit of lead like, you know, dinging in one of the jugs or whatever, but I couldn't really, you know, get it out of there when I was, you know, looking for the bullet. but. I mean that's pretty uh, pretty good results you know I mean it peeled that jacket back I mean it dumped a ton of energy in that first jug it blew the jug in half it was ridiculous um, you know what it did there but uh, so yeah that's a nice little bullet right there I mean I have no uh, you know problem saying that that bullet right there would probably take care of anything you wanted to take care of as far as game goes whether it be deer or whatever because um you know it's eight millimeter it's 139 grain but man it it's it laid the smack down on those jugs at 50 yards and uh it, it took care of business so anyways i don't know you know that's uh another bullet test here i've been goofing around with cameras i, I don't know i'm 
back to using my old camera because the other one I had some footage and it didn't didn't turn out um, so I'm gonna keep going on eight millimeter uh, bandwagon here shooting my Yugo 2447 today and uh, that's a nice shooting rifle uh, like I said I uh, that compared to the regular K98 the sights were it was you know shooting way high for me um, but uh, you know I can adjust for that and do some more shooting but anyways just stay tuned I got some more bullets to test and then we'll see uh, you know which which one's gonna be the best when it's all said and done as far as these uh, these hollow points go uh, I got some Hornady and then I got some spear too so we're gonna give them all a go and see what happens so thanks for watching everybody uh, hopefully you uh, learned something today and uh, we'll see you on the next one thanks